We welcome you inside Lakefront Arena where it's time for the Sunbelt Conference on ESPN. Round one of the Sunbelt Women's Basketball Championship as the eighth seed Appalachian State is here to take on the number one seed, Arkansas State. Just days ago, another scramble for it. Gamble comes away with it. Lawson, the nice look, and the finish by Brown Haywood. Two of the class teams in the conference. That's why they feel so confident here today. And there's a nice lay-in by Joy Jones, and she heads to the line to try a three-point play. Both teams really showing some emotion. I love it. The Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Without question. Up and under. Reverse. Both teams playing solid defensively in terms of not fouling. It's been really fluid. Well, you said Campbell <laughs> needs to get in stride. Well, I think she's doing that right now, Steffi. Belt player. Well, that move looked like a sunbelt. Gamble again. <laughs> Ten in a row for the sunbelt player of the year. Shot from the corner. Just to the right. How about Gill getting on the boards and sticking it back in? Then off the bench. If you're Appalachian State, Steffi, you just try and stay close, right, the entire way because the Red Wolves are just such an explosive team. Flannery exhibiting what I'm talking about. How you want them to carry themselves. That's what we see from Andrea Gamble. Brittany Gill the extra pass, Campbell the finish, and there's that calming effect once again, just kind of cruising down court. That's been the big challenge. On their way, but it's going to take some time as Red Wolves come out firing and Brown Haywood has not cooled off. Now Gamble will settle things. Look at the whip pass underneath. He's doing it all here today. Arkansas State advances, but more so makes a statement. Arkansas State, first quarter has been cleared. And they'll await the winner of Troy in South Alabama. You see in the other bracket, Little Rock, Texas State, and Louisiana Lafayette, and UT Arlington in the nightcap. But the Sunbelt Coach of the Year, Brian Boyer, his team showing why. They've only got one loss in the conference season. Still plenty of work to do for Andrea Gamble and company.